Hey, what's up, party people? Welcome to Honest Trailer Commentaries for the Rings of Power! <laughs> Earth! No? no? No one's backing me up? Is that Captain Planet? Yeah, Fire. I don't know. Okay, I'm thank too you. old. Ugh. I'm an old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That... That flopped. Um, Wind, we, water. I don't know the. I don't know the. Yeah, I don't know the. the in brightest no day. No Captain Planet. In blackest night. That's rings yeah. of no. green. <laughs> <laughs> rings of lanterns. Um, it's rings of lantern. Yeah. So yeah, we uh, watched the Rings of Power, brought to you by Amazon, and made an honest trailer for it. We'll be telling you all about our behind the scenes thoughts and feelings as we went through the series. We'll be watching the trailer together, starting and stopping when we have something to say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've got. Deleted scenes. We've got Q and A, so keep those questions coming in the chat. It's the, it's the extended edition of the Rings of Power, yeah. right? With three three bonus hours of uh, additional and work footage. Like the Hobbit, this is going to be broadcast in ninety eight K, so it's going to make you very <laughs> nauseous. Very eight eight thousand <laughs> frames per second, folks. Yeah. Gear up. It's going to be very uncanny. The clarity. Yeah. Oof. And then we'll tease you with next week's honest trailer, which we revealed in this week's honest trailer. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, Go team. The Rings of Power. Um, it's oh, please before we start. The Lord of the Rings: the colon, Lord of the Rings: colon, The Rings, rings of Power. Inside Thanks. that colon lies the Rings of <laughs> Power. <laughs> uh, so my thoughts um, to summarize: I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm a casual Tolkien fan. I, I read the books in high school. Yeah. I watched the movies. Uh, I've seen the movies a few times. I, I, except The Hobbit was when I was like, I guess I don't. This is just not for me. Uh, the, after the Five Armies, I was like. How many armies and yeah. what? Oh, I hate them all. Five. <laughs> How many armies again? No, they're not five in that. There's like seven. I hate it. Five. Uh, five. I, I, I couldn't believe that they turned that sliver of a children's book into into a trilogy. And since then, I've just been like, okay, you know, this is not much like uh, Ghostbusters two. Uh, I was like, well, this is no longer a sacred cow. So if Amazon is going to back up the two rules, I don't know where I know it. Rule. It was my first. Uh, Ghostbusters. It yeah. is identical to Ghostbusters in every single. They just did Ghostbusters again with Vigo. Add, yeah, add one Carpathia. Add one plus one Carpathia. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. So, uh, yeah, I don't. I, I don't hold. I, I love uh, Tolkien's original work. I think it is um, absolutely uh, darkly comic that Amazon is the one making this because oh, I, I had a I had a yeah. tough time thinking of a author who would be less disposed to yeah. a place that was. Uh, that responsible for, um, let's say, consumerism. I feel like, I feel like yeah. Upton Sinclair. Maybe. Yeah, Upton Sinclair, yeah. <laughs> maybe. He's like the last one. Who's like, I Maybe to be someone Wells who saw their today. friend Ooh. fall into the meat pit. Let's go <laughs> on ahead and make the jungle, Amazon. It's yeah, done. Yeah. yeah, but after him, it's, it's Amazon and Tolkien seem like the uh, most twisted mix of author twisted. and twisted. A little bit From twisted. You know, we like to keep things a little we bit do, twisted yeah, up here. But overall, so like, is doing Joker stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm not like a. Uh, I, I prefer my Thrones. Uh, I'm not like a super high fantasy person, but I found this charming. And if you're into elves and dwarves uh, and noble lords and lieges and ladies, this I think. How could this not be what you want? What do you guys yeah. think? Yeah, same. I mean, it's it's not. Uh, I had a, a hard time getting into it at first, and I think we we talked about that. It's just a lot of like prequeliness happening oh, it's right now. Super prequel. And so uh, I'm a little uh, burnt out on prequels, but overall, I like the show. Like it was good. It's not like you know, it's not knock my socks off, but it's definitely like you know, I could take them off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I could slide these. Uh, slide these. Much like yeah. Lord Laris in a private one-on-one <laughs> -on -one convo, I could, yeah. I could dangle a pinky over, yeah. over this one. Yeah. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was great. I mean, it really, I feel like this is a, they're really taking making it a Tolkien adaptation and making it a prequel to Lord of the Rings very seriously. Mm -hmm. Like more, more so even than making it like a satisfying season of TV. I feel mm. like it do, you you feel the ambition of let's see if we can actually open up a whole new branch of this story for ourselves and like define it as like a new thing that we're going to do. And so it does. It feels like the beginning of a big project more than yeah. like here's a great zippy fun season yeah. of television and like I get, I get that. And so I get the the complaints like that, but from my perspective I thought it was really like smart, really like well done in terms of like building out this like new corner of the the lore and the mythology and and I do I think it connects to the other stories in really interesting ways and I think it it feels really true to Tolkien and his philosophy and like his writing and like his themes and you know there's a there's a whole episode where elves are like traumatized by having to knock over a tree you know mm -hmm. like it's really taking the Tolkienness. <laughs> 
of it seriously, and I thought that was like so cool. Yeah, yeah, really that was all of like the metaphors and all of those things and stuff that I'm sure that we'll get into as we talk about the trailer. Yeah. All right. Well, let's watch it then. The honest trailer for the Amazons, the Lord of the Rings: colon, Inside Which Lies the Rings of Power, from the Book of Saw. From the Book of Saw. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel you see that Tobin, Tobin Bell coming back. Slash Brahms the Boy. Saw X. Do you guys see that? No. It's true. Oh. It's happening. Wow. Jigsaw. How has he he's been dead it's for been 20, 20 years? years since Peter Jackson <laughs> took us to Middle Earth, and 10 years since we all asked to leave. <laughs> I did not. I like these. Movies. I saw this in 3D. <laughs> do, do, do with it what you will. This is also right out of the book. <laughs> That's it. Uh, uh, does, how many paragraphs does that bouncing barrel okay. go on that for? Doesn't because take it, a lot. Like it doesn't take as much time, but the escape, the escape from Rivendell in the barrels is directly from the book. And then Blor Blorpkin <laughs> bounced upon this orc. And then he bounced upon two other orcs. Then he bounced back over the creek on I these mean, two listen. orcs, bouncing then against you, four more orcs, you're, you're, and then finally you're, layeth you're, upon you're the defending. final orc. Now it's just now it's just, it's just gummy bears. Yeah, yeah you're, you're defending the show where bouncing everyone here, there, and everywhere. Vivarium tar targenjigen. It's because they're inbred. It's different. <laughs> yeah, um, it's because they're you inbred. Don't know, you don't know about these dwarves, There man. needs to be seven know. people named Venus. There's like one dwarf woman in all of Middle Earth. Do all not right? say the word Venus while I'm drinking. Yeah. <laughs> My Venus is bleeding. All right, let's, let's keep going. Said my Venus is bleeding, let's keep going. <laughs> Where good lives in balance with nature, and evil destroys the land in a blind lust for power and profit. Brought to you by Amazon. <laughs> I wonder if the orc slaves get free two day shipping. The Rings of Power. No colon. No. They the drop colon in a lot of things. Earth. Pause. Yeah. A, ton. A, a lot of. Uh, Everything, nothing can be like two or three anymore yeah. because they found out that people won't see it then if they haven't seen the first one. They're less likely. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but there was a phase where we got colons with everything. And I think the thing, the, the one where it changed was um, Star Trek Into Darkness. Oh, maybe, Star yeah. Star Trek Into Darkness. Uh, like, yeah, you yeah. Need, it's an important colon. Yeah, there, there's so, sometimes where, there, there also is the, there's like the hybrid hyphen and mm. colon ones, like the, there's like, Dahmer, colon, monster, hyphen, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Like, wait. Yeah, this, it's just the this 99. This is too much punctuation. It's the 99 cents of like trying to sell a sequel. It's like, oh, if it's a dollar, you might not want it. But yeah. if you don't, if, it, if it's just 99 cents, then maybe yeah. you'll go check that sequel out. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's just this idea that the, the title of the original has to be in the new one or people won't get. Like, you couldn't just call Knives Out to Glass Onion. It's got to be right. Glass Onion. A, a Knives, Knives Out, out mystery, <laughs> morons. But why wouldn't you go like, Benoit Blanc. Be because they don't think people associate that with the name Benoit Blanc. They think we need knives out to, to get it. That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. So you, sure. could, you could do like Benoit Blanc in the case of the blah, blah, blah. But they're like, no, people don't know Daniel Craig is Benoit Blanc. They need to see knives out, even though that only applies to the first one. You got to figure they, they market test this, but they probably market test it on people who are like, so they're... They're at Universal Studios Hollywood, and they fell off the Minions ride. Like, do you want to take a yeah. do you want to take a survey while you're waiting for the ambulance? <laughs> ben Banana, <laughs> ben Banana. Yeah, right, here, exactly. right here. Okay, uh, it yeah. turns out they don't know nothing. All right, let's uh, let's keep watching. Time of relative peace, but when rebel spy Cassie and Andor, oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm glad I'm going to a lot of prequels to cover. Witness so the second movie. age of Middle Earth. Nope, no, that's next week's prequel. There's your hint. Witness yeah. the second age of Middle Earth. A time of relative peace, prosperity, and dramatic establishing shots. When a mysterious stranger appears from the sky, a mysterious stranger appears at sea. A mysterious stranger yeah. appears on land. Give me more. And three <laughs> mysterious strangers go looking for the other mysterious strangers. One audience will be asked to wonder, who are all these people, and why should I care? Look, I can barely keep up with the ones who aren't mysterious. Stop making me do homework to watch TV. You didn't say the Hall of Law was assembled by Elros himself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> love that Hall of Law. Yeah, I love that little trill on Elros. I can't roll my arse. Oh, but. no, they be, they be putting some stank on them names. The yeah. elves, all of them. Yeah. They were, like, every time, um, what's his name says, uh, uh, it goes, Gradriel. Like, I can't, I don't know. <laughs> Gradriel. Yeah. Yeah. Very impressive it's stuff. It's amazing. This was something that I don't recall being a factor in Tolkien's work, uh, is the, the whodunit aspect and like the, the mystery box of who these yeah. people are. 
I don't care who Sauron is. I like the show despite that being the the central mystery propelling it forward. I don't care. He could have just shown up, yeah, and just been a big eye and been, been like, guy. "Hey, it's I'm a big eye." Yeah. Or the guy at the end could have been, or none of them I mean, could have been Sauron. I don't, yeah. I don't think it was structured in such a way that that was the only thing to invest in. Like, right. they, no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter if you get caught up in the mystery of which mysterious person is going to be Sauron. And that was always like a fan thing. Like the show wasn't explicitly like we're going to reveal one's Sauron, but, who Sauron but between is. Hall, certainly between the stranger and Hall, Halbert, 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 Halbert. it was very much like and who Adar. are they? Who and are Adar. they and were Adar. really yeah. building Adara. Who are these yeah. people really? And right. that was not what compelled me through the show at all. There, there isn't, there is an aspect of, and, and I don't want to say Tolkien was not like a doing a whodunit. There's not a lot of mystery but there is an aspect of uh, part of part of Lord of the Rings or part of Middle Earth is this idea of like shifting identity and that mm. based on what you're doing or where you are in your life, you might like change your name or change how you identify yourself. I mean, Gandalf the Grey Gandalf becomes the White. Gandalf yeah. the White and, you know, Strider becomes actually yeah. Aragorn. And there are lots of examples of that. Mm. So I, I think it is kind of in keeping that. And, and Tolkien did establish like Sauron didn't always go by Sauron. He had right. many names and identities yeah. over the years. So that I like that there's a way of layering that real appreciation for the lore in. But, yeah, they added the like. Puzzle box J.J. Abrams, you know, mm. like bad robotness of it, yep. of like the season being solving the mystery of who's Sauron. Mm. Well, there you go. And we still have the mystery of who we we at this point it seems pretty clear that this stranger is a wizard. I think Spoilers. that's clear. Yeah, he's got to be. We don't. We have. We know not, he's one of the. He's either Gandalf because he says the exact same line that Gandalf says. Seems seems like well, and, and that would explain Gandalf's sort of connection to hobbits and, yeah. and why he loves hobbits so much. But it could, you know, they could be planning to throw There's us two a other bombs. We got some blue wizards. That we got are, some blue wizards, yeah. but it could be Saruman, and they're throwing us a curveball wow. as well. That would be a big That's twist true. too. Like what a was, twist! He was good before he was bad. I know it's not uh, Radagast because he's not covered in bird shit. Yeah, I remember I that from like, the Hobbit. I feel like Radagast. Yeah, it would be it would be a different vibe. It would be more of a natural <laughs> world vibe yeah. instead of Hob instead of Hobbits. He would be like bonding with squirrels. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Keep going. Remember Galadriel. Well, she's not Kate Blanche yet. This horse girl's got a blade that moves as much as her mouth, doesn't. You have the look of your father. <laughs> and when her loyal kill squad tries to put this elf on the shelf, she'll refuse to step down until she can fulfill her destiny and lead her forces into an active volcano, all while being tricked every step of the way by this Kirkland brand Aragorn. Looks can be deceiving. I've had many names. Sauron lives! Wait, that's Sauron? Come on, he can't turn into a giant eye. He's too sexy. Agreed. Yep. Yeah. You've seen the mines of Moria. No, I still now, <laughs> enter the dwarf kingdom of Casa Doom, where the women may not have beards, but they do have pipes. <laughs> and the accents are thick as that wee mallard with the great vault of coins from that cartoon program. Was there anything Scoot, else you wanted to ask about, Diddy? Watch as Prince Durin <laughs> goes from alloys to allies with his BF elf, Elrond, a diplomat with a permanent case of smirk in this mining subplot about making weapons of mass corruption. What is it you hope to crop? That we all know are gonna be the rings, but boy, do they take their good sweet time to get there. It would be smaller than previously Drop imagined. Crazy. Like a ring? A circular form will be ideal. Just say ring. Two crowns. It'll need to be something smaller. Mm. Just say it. You know you wanna say it. One object. That yeah. one. That was what got me. That was what got me. Lame. Yeah. yeah, they definitely yeah. Uh, played footsie with with saying ring for for <laughs> an episode and a half at least. Yeah, yeah. No, that was the one that broke. It's, like, <laughs> I, 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 they were all bad, but that yeah. was the one. One. Object. object. <laughs> the, the guys, O-shaped object. The guys who, the showrunners are their first time showrunners. And I mean, yeah, great job for being your first crack at That's it. Wild. I think they did a yeah. really terrific job. But there are a few things like that where it's just like, Okay, I think you 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 squeezed all yeah. the suspense yeah, the, you can out of the this. Lily Dunbin gilded. Yeah, just just you can just give us that they're gonna be rings. We we've, we've kind of got. I it. didn't have the uh, time or wherewithal to to track this, but Sauron's plan. Care to care to explain? It was to get them to make the rings and then yes. and then ad admit his identity and then abscond back to Mordor. I mean, I like think why? I don't why? I, I think I think two things. One is I don't I don't think we quite know okay. in totality mm -hmm. what all the planning was. And yeah. and we also don't know 
there's a lot of moving parts, and we don't know how behind all of these moving, like, how connected was he to Adar's plan to turn the Southlands into Mordor? Was that like he told him to do that? Mm. Or is that like he's going to benefit from it now? Is it like he's corrupting the world and so all these things are just going to kind of start happening on their own? I don't think we kind of understand okay. how that's all playing out. Um, but the idea of like... The other thing is like... Confessing to Galadriel... I think the only part that we can say for sure is making the rings. Like, mm. and I feel like, And rings. I feel like yeah. season two is going to be... Like now he's got the elves have theirs. He's got to figure out the dwarves. He's got to figure mm. out the humans. Yeah. Like... Like, yeah. that's a master plan that I think we're going to The human's like, instead. we need to make these gauntlets. No, 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 smaller, no, smaller, smaller, <laughs> smaller, something, something a little have smaller. You, have yeah. you been about, <laughs> but, but. All right, well, go figure. Uh, I'm sure all will be explained in seasons two through five. Well, we know, yeah, we know they're, get, they're definitely doing two. Yeah. Beyond that, you guys have to yeah. watch. Right. Yeah, you have to watch the show. <laughs> Keep going. A lot, it costs a lot of money. It's very expensive. They'll stop making this it. This show is about so much more than digging secret mines. It's also about digging secret tunnels. <laughs> Someone dug this passage. Something. Travel to the Southlands with elf cop Arendir and his one true love, a uh, healer lady. Bronwyn. This perfect Her name's dude is the yeah. perfect <laughs> of <laughs> trick shot There's archery. a why, but it's not where you think. Die! <laughs> 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 but he must break prejudice simply because he spies on everything this village does from a massive guard tower. Together, these two will repel the attacks of Tommy Wiseau. Oh, hi, Mark. While trying to play some sensible boundaries on their rebellious teenage kid. Is this really so tragic? No, that's the sea captain's rebellious teenage kid. There's a reason he came to us. That's the Brandyfoot's rebellious teenage kid? Okay, look, if you're going to cram in 100 There's side Theo. plots, could you at least not copy and paste all the side characters? Follow the friendly, fun-sized forest fauna known as the Harfoots, who may look like nice little hobbits, but their society is built around making good time on an eternal road trip. <laughs> so they'll leave you to die in a ditch if you so much as twist an ankle. We're going to be left behind. Into their Logan's run-ass society falls the mysterious being known only as the Stranger. Ooh, ooh, I know this one. So the Stranger is when you sit on your own hand until it goes numb, and then, uh, no, no? Okay, fine. Then he's probably Gandalf. Dude only loves hanging out with short people and smoking pipe weed, and he's all out of pipe weed. Yeah, pause. I uh, they're not hobbits. They're they're like Proto ancestors hobbits, to hobbits. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They're, they're, uh, so the hobbits eventually settle down. Har Har yeah, the Harfoots eventually settle down. Right. Eventually, these the Harfoots like these will settle in the Shire and sort of evolve into hobbits. Yeah. And they're just like friendly boxcar hobos, but. Also, like boxcar hobos, they will shiv you if you if, yes. if you're dr holding them back. Yeah, they're so, about. Yeah, yeah that's about okay. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these, these yeah, they're, they're. I assume that they just discover showers and they're like, oh crap. Like, oh, these are good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, these here. are these are like the hippie nomadic forerunners. Like eventually, they'll discover like you know pastries, like meat wrapped in pastries. <laughs> right. Second and, breakfast. Yeah, hanging out at home all day. Yeah. You know, like they're not homebodies yet here, but they're you can see they're on their way. To they the age area. into it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like all hippies do. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it just seemed a little cutthroat for when I think that the show wants you to, you know, think they're adorable and love them and want to, you know, respect. And, I mean, life was harsh in the But it was age. very you harsh know, things back settled then. down. He literally, like, they're full of wagons. They can put him on a wagon and just take him where yes, they're going. Yeah. That's but they're like, not, no, 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 you're done. You're that's dead That's not their way. That's not their way. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put him down. Yeah, they're yeah. an anti-wheel Don't, don't society. judge their culture, okay? Wow, that was brutal. That yeah. was just, that struck me as very unhobbit like but I guess they're yeah, not Yeah, it wasn't very sweet. They're Harfoots. They yeah. place a lot of value on the feet. You know, if you twist them, you, you, you break a very, foot. It's Just a very, giving them away for free, <laughs> it's then. It's a foot-centric culture, yeah. <laughs> Larry like, strikes again. Uh, all right. Yeah, your wiki feet score there is your social capital. It's like that It's like that black mirror. That <laughs> determines your place in yeah, the line. Yeah, yeah, the whole yeah, the hierarchy caravan. is just wiki It's a wiki feet. foot. Um, it's a wiki foot-based <laughs> economy, yeah. Okay, keep going. So get ready for a new take on Lord of the Rings that isn't afraid to get political. Not because of the black elves. If anything, they should all be black. Their homeland is inside the sun. So Because bright. it's a story <laughs> where a terrorist from across the sea knocks down two symbols of elven power. They respond by invading the Middle E, kill a bunch of orcs who had nothing to do with it, and refuse to leave until they suck up all the underground resources and turn them into red, white, and blue weapons. Wait, are we... Are we the baddies here? Yeah, pause. We went really down this rabbit hole where, like, 
Galadriel was Rumsfeld. <laughs> we, had yeah. whole, we literally had the entire cast of W redone yeah. as yeah. Uh, Lord of the Rings Aaron Deere, character. Aaron Deere is a UN weapons inspector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Hans Blix. Hans Blix. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, or he could be Colin Powell, I guess, because he's like the one that everybody trusts um, to, to give the report. I don't know. Anyways, you give us your analogy of the uh, uh, second Iraq war <laughs> and, and um, rings of power. Yeah. I do think like the first one came out right around then and got related to that a lot, especially with the unfortunate timing of the two towers. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. It was the title, the two the towers, towers really yeah. threw people. But it's interesting yeah. that Tolkien's work was used, uh, you know, in some ways as a way for him to process World War One and the horrors of war and industrialization. Yeah. And these... Uh, to this, the trilogy and then this show have been sort of allegories to the war on terror, um, or yeah. have been turned into that. Um, I mean, I think they're, they're they're war themed stories, so it always yeah. kind of kind of ends up reflecting you know opinions or takes on whatever wars are happening when the adaptations are being yeah. made. But, but yeah, it's, it's especially mean, attuned to like a war between good and evil and civilizational level conflict yeah, right. between yes. higher and lower races of beings and right, stuff like yeah. that. So I can see why this gets glommed onto by uh, some unsavory types. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but hey, uh, it's all fantasy. Anyways, keep going. <laughs> Starring Gladys Knight, a successful rebranding effort, Matt Smith and Orlando Bloom in a blender, during it and during it and <laughs> during it well. Right. <laughs> there are those who call me Tim, Tim. <laughs> Proto Baggins, Samwise Gamshi, Ewoks. My eyes, the goggles, they're not <laughs> 79 years I've been stationed here. It does not crack, indeed. <laughs> Dr. Wynn, Medicine Woman, The Drip Merchant. He's an angry elf. More dork. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Sauron? And Colin responds. The sea is always right. The sea is always right. Nobody goes off train. And nobody walks alone. Mm -hmm. Straight to the Southlands. Straight to the Lord of the Southlands. Hail Lord of the Southlands. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? <laughs> Numbut. Numbut. <laughs> Amazon presents The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Season 1 of 5, Galadriel's Origins, <laughs> Sauron Begins. Nice. You know, you can pinpoint the exact moment where Warner Brothers defiles Tolkien's corpse right here. Oh. 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 I, the best thing about that NFT is uh, it's there's there's like literally nothing. It's just a copy of the movie in 4K, but and with like a gotcha game of like, hey, there's a, you might get a different um, yeah. There's three back, menus. Background. Yeah, there's three menu. there's three DVD style menus, and you get like you don't know which one you're gonna get. Maybe it's Rivendell. Yeah. Maybe it's the Shire. And they bulldoze one Shire to mint each. <laughs> <copy>. <laughs> they, they actually found yeah. a Shire and yeah. they cut it down yeah. to make that NFT. One NFT. It's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, um, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, hey. like, like, subscribe, hit the bell, because uh, we're here all the time. We got, um, we'll be back next week for the You Know What. Uh, we also have some two really fun By the Numbers episodes uh, mm. that are going to drop soon. Um, we might do a little news catch up. There's been a lot of news lately. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Maybe what's we'll, going on in the news? Just to discuss the news. Uh, just let us know. This news. Yes. And, uh, and then we're also here tomorrow for an Andor stream. A, a show I hear is going quite well. It's terrific. Yeah. Really wonder, wonderful stuff. Also, Spencer, if you want to react to this news, James's gun and Peter Safran, <laughs> Safran are going to run DC Studios now. Wow. Hey, what, wow. what? What a glow up. Wow. Good for him. Wow. What? So they're going to they're gonna be the Feige of DC, yeah. James Gunn and, and Saffron? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. That's, that's Ooh, huge. I, All right. I, I you know, everyone mm. flocked to the Suicide Squad. <laughs> Biggest hit in a bunch of years. Yeah. Biggest hit in a bunch. Uh, Make can't. everything into Guardians of the Galaxy. <sighs> Just everything. I mean, that's 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 cool. I like that. So I'll, I'll react good. to that first and say, I, I'm I'm for it. The, 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 those guys, I feel like are. I guys. prefer Warner Brothers.
Brothers and DC Films as a completely rudderless ship. Where everyone, <laughs> I think it's more interesting. We get weirder, uh, funner stuff where everyone's just completely well, yeah. stabbing and there's complete turnover every three years. I am kind of hoping, even if they have like a Feige and they they are it's more organized. I don't I don't really feel like they have to start doing what what Marvel is doing and make everything like one like they're doing well with a with a multiverse. Like I don't want to collapse all. We'll that. see after the Flash. Well, that's what I mean. Like yeah. obviously yeah. people are excited about more Superman and Cavill coming back. So, like, keep yeah. doing a Snyderverse. There's no reason not to. Obviously, people love Joker and are excited about uh, Lady Gaga being Harley Quinn. So we want to keep doing no, that. I want, I want Joker to be like, Batman's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and obviously, the, the Matt Reeves, the Batman one was good, and people want to see that. So that, that we're, they're already making the argument for multiple ongoing universes at a time. You don't have to pick one. Also, Black Adam literally changed the hierarchy. In the I mean, yeah, the, the, shift the hierarchy of the DC universe has permanently shifted. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, um, I'm checking the hashtags as soon as we get off this table. Yeah. Oh, I'm checking the hashtags. Nice. Wow. Oh, it's going to be salty. Oh, I'm excited. But yeah, we'll react to this and Star Wars and Marvel stuff soon. My God. Okay, yeah. 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 We're doing some Prepare reacting. to be reacted to, yeah. news. You're on notice. <laughs> um, so, uh, Daisu Sekoro writes, uh, now that Rings of Power has their first season behind them, what elements or changes do you think they can focus on to make the next seasons better? Any, uh, it's any, already I mean, we've kind good. of been talking yeah, about man. it. Yeah, yeah it's good. <laughs> I think that they were very, um, I would say, main storyline focused and very plot focused and trying to get to a satisfying finish. And I get that. Um, and they need to hold people's interest. But for me, this is a uh, this franchise in this world is just as much about vibes and hang like the yeah. entire first half of the first movie is just hanging out in the Shire. I'd enjoy some more hangout episodes. Let's hang out in the mines. Let's hang I, out in the forest. I'm, Let's hang I'm, out I'm in, with, with the Harfoots. I could definitely just just chill in, in this in this version of the world. Yeah. I mean, Let's I do a bottle episode. Screw it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I want to see a billion dollar bottle episode. <laughs> That's I want Bezos. I know you can fly sort of out of the Earth's orbit, but if you can do a billion dollar bottle episode, you'll have my respect. If I if I was gonna make one one big criticism of, of season one, because I, I really enjoyed the show, but if I were, there was one thing I was gonna point out, I do feel like sometimes it, it did lean a little bit on they would establish a conflict, we would kind of get what the parameters were, and then you get <clears throat> it could be a little repetitive. Mm. So like Galadriel is like, hey, we gotta go fight this war in the Southlands. We gotta help other people. And the Queen of Numenor is like, I don't want to risk my people. And Halbrand is like, I kind of like it here. I'm gonna be a, a blacksmith. And then it's really that for like three episodes. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, that's one episode. Even if we just don't go back there for an episode or two and we do other storylines and then we go back <laughs> there when we've got a new development, yeah, I, I think that they, they You're like right. we're going back to Numenor next season, right? And we're gonna have to sit there while they rally the troops again. Yeah. And like structurally, I just feel like there were more efficient ways to do it where we don't have to go back. It feels kind of like they're trying to hit every location every time. Yeah, and like we don't always need to check in everywhere. Sometimes the Harfoots aren't gonna have stuff going on for two episodes, <laughs> and we gotta like that's okay. that's okay. But I am. But having said that, the idea of leaving like Harfoot society behind and having an adventure between one Harfoot and her new friend, the stranger, and them going. That sounds great. I'm very into that. Yeah, yeah. Always love a good um, like go to the east and, and yeah. find the source of your magic. Like yeah. that sounds super fun. And, and we'll probably find out answers to is that Saruman or is he gonna meet? Because if it's Gandalf, he's probably gonna go meet Saruman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Langley M. Neely writes, is the kid with the bad hair covering up his ears, I assume that's Theo, uh, doing so to mask a secret elf lineage or does he just need a new non-mullet haircut? Well, you know, I, I, I think that's a fair point, but also I know this is not history. This is not real. It didn't really happen, but people had some effed up hair back then. Like, yeah. I feel like the, yeah. just the standard do for a medieval, I guess, peasant would just be like, We've seen a lot of scenes. Helmet, yeah. like just a, yeah. just a hair helmet. We've seen a lot of scenes with him and his mother, because Bronwyn is his mother. Yeah. And I feel like we've seen a lot of scenes with just the two of them where they would probably have mentioned that. Like, she would have been like, cover your ears. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. like, mm -hmm. I don't know how they would have kept that from us all this time. But it is possible. And, and I believe that that weapon is kind of communicating with him, which mm -hmm. was, seems more likely if he had a little bit of elven yep. magic to mm -hmm. him. So who's who's to say? Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, what's his name? Elf Cop, like, would probably have a Ron deer. His name is a Ron deer. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like he would probably 
really have like sensed it. Like, God, I just, just kinda, remembered like, bright. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, go ahead. That's an orc cop. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that that was my only thing because I was like, don't elves like can't they sense each other's vibes or something? Yo, yeah. Well, they can sniff and 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 <laughs> see. Sniff. They can sniff each other's vibes out from across a, a field. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like he would like. Yeah. I would feel. They could sniff vibes. That's an elf power. Yeah. 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 They're vibe a vibe snipping. sniffer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I was, uh, yeah, I, I, I get the, um, the man versus elf, uh, simmering resentment because he literally lives in a guard tower staring at them with binocular yeah, eyes all day and they're not allowed to keep weapons. Like he's, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, it's not a great feel, but that again, continuing the analogy is the Patriot Act. Um, so let's see to your DC point, which directors, this is Daisu following up, oh. which directors would you like to see doing more movies in the DC, the new DCEU, mm. under the Gun Administration, the Saffron and Gun uh, yeah. dichotomy. I mean, obviously, uh, I'm I'm super pumped for for more from the Reeves side. I love that. Did you guys see that report from a few weeks ago where Reeves is trying to get? He wants to do standalone villain movies, mm-hmm. yeah. like to introduce the villains before they fight a Batman. Sinister Six, a Sinister Six, if you will. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. like a Venom Morbius situation. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sign, where do I sign up? Let's give uh, me that G Fuel. Yeah. But like I do, I, especially I think if you lean into like some of the Gotham City villains, we haven't gotten to spend as much sort of time with. You know, your your uh, Clayface or Hugo Strange or like some of these other characters. Professor Pig is one he mentioned. Like, mm. There's so much cool m- you know? territory to mine. Yeah. I'm I'm pumped for that. I I know that she's real busy over on the the Disney side, but I think that I would really like to see a Superman done by Bryce Dallas Howard. Hey, there Ooh, you go. That's a good idea. I, I think that. I would really. Yeah. I think I'd really like that. I mean, I hate to take them away from what they do, but I would love to see uh, the Daniels with the superhero budget. Hey. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, that's I think a good just idea. Just uh, on a p- give them a big visual effects budget and see what they can come yeah. up with for one of the weird ones. Make give them the Doctor Fate uh, spinoff. Um, yeah. So finally, uh, Arthur Mingo asks, uh, or just says, watching this show high is awesome. And Tight. it does look very good. Making it's, this it's, show high is even better, let it, me tell you. It's, it's, I'm kidding. Oh, are you talking, about, are you talking about Australian commentaries? Watching the show high is, <laughs> eh, I guess it's better, probably not worse. <laughs> um, but I would just say that for a show like uh, Rings of Power, I would have a tough time. I feel like it, it, it rewards not, yeah. short-term memory. Um, it, yeah. Yeah, maybe an Adderall. And, well, an Adderall. look, there's, there is a shortage right now, all right? Yeah, so don't yeah, waste your Adderall on I, Rings of Power. Right, I feel like <laughs> sumptuous visuals, but yeah. yeah, it's a little complicated. It's a little layered, I think. And it's, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I yeah. don't think it's ideal. And it won't be ideal for next week's either. Oh my God! Where no. we will be back. Uh, what's uh, what do you do for next week? Uh, fentanyl for House of the Dragon next <laughs> week <laughs> because it's brutal. Yeah. It is. Oh, we have outtakes I'm as well. Excited. Thank you for the reminder in the headphones. Let's roll those outtakes. See what else we come up with. Starring, Calamdriel, <laughs> not Kate Blanche yet. Lady in the Water, Hot Topic. No, <laughs> don't take me back to the Southlands. L. Ron <laughs> Hubbard. You know weaving. More your money, more your problems. The Wiz. Harfoot Superstar. Arendir White People. Elf care <laughs> is so important. Elwork Musk. Sauron to bother you. <laughs> I really like you. These gemstones. I've never seen anything like them. What do you plan to use them for? As you crest the ridge <laughs> to dozen or so goblins, I need a surprise roll. Yeah, right? (laughs) There you go. All right, well, we leave you with that. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back next week with another fantastic fantasy voyage into Middle Earth. No, the Middle... No, Westeros. Westeros. There it is. Yeah, Yeah, that's where we're 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 going. Before we go back to the Judland Waste of Tatooine, I'm sure, after that. So thank you so much for watching. This has been your commentaries this week. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Nilfgaard, right? That's what we're going to do. Milfgaard? Milfgaard? I'm going to Milfgaard. The Witcher. (laughs) Nilfgaard.